This is my audience. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. My name is, my name is Wes Reynolds. I'll be demonstrating to you how, how to properly set up an Xbox today. Three things that you will need. You will need a power source along with an internet connection. You will need the monitor itself, a monitor or a TV with the power cables that it comes with and the Xbox with the power cables that it comes with. The first thing that you are gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to take the power cable to the TV and you're gonna to wanna to plug it into your power source. Then you're gonna to wanna to take the power the cable from the Xbox and plug that into your power source. Now you're gonna to wanna to take the HDMI cord from the Xbox and the TV and plug them both into the, the ports for the HDMI. Now that everything is hooked on, hooked up and has power, you can now turn everything on. While this power's on, you wanna make sure that your TV is on the right input. So you wanna go over to here to your side, you wanna to go to input, and you wanna make sure that it is on the HDMI cable that you plugged it into. So for this, we're doing HDMI one. You can also turn on your controller while you're waiting. The next step will be a login into your account. If you don't have one, you can create one. Uh, Xbox is through Microsoft, so you're gonna create an account through them. You need to log in, and then you'll need to establish your internet connection. So while this loads up. Might take a moment, just bear with me. Now that you're logged in, you, can, you need to hit the center button of your controller and you'll log in and you can set your password to anything that you want. So once you log into your account, once it logs in, you'll hit the center button again. You'll go down to the settings tab. Then you can go down to general You can go over to network settings and you can go to set up wireless network, choose your Wi-Fi and enter your password. So for mine, it is Reynolds Wi-Fi and enter the password. Once that is connected, the final step that you have, all you have to do is pick any game that you want to play. So for this one, I can just pick Fortnite. So in conclusion, you have finally learned how to successfully hook up a gaming system, whether you this, it could be an Xbox, it could be a PlayStation, or it could be a computer. They generally follow the same kind of steps with the HDMI to the power sources into your input. But this is valuable information because like uh, I'm sure it's a lot of y'all seen in the news that there's a new Xbox coming out and I'm sure it'll follow the same exact type of steps. Thank you for watching. Here's my audience once again.